After the news of developer Country Garden's financial trouble, our topic in the China property sector, China Overseas Land and Investment, also called Kali, dropped 11%. Our equity analyst Jeff Jang thinks the sell-off is overdone. We think that state-owned developers like Kali fared better than their privately owned peers in home sales, thanks to their land bank in higher tier cities, strong operating efficiency, and their robust funding status. For Kali, over 80% of its land bank and projects are located in either tier one or tier two cities. Given its state ownership background, refinancing from onshore creditors such as state-owned banks would be much easier than it would be for privately owned Evergrande and Country Garden. Moreover, because of a yuan depreciation in recent months, Kali is retiring its offshore credit facilities and refinancing onshore. This would reasonably lower future interest liabilities on the RMB due to the interest rate difference. Jiang's base case remains that home sales will only be able to recover and find the bottom toward year end. With a better sale sentiment, state-owned developers like Kali, with ample liquidity and strong land and project profiles, would benefit from it the most. According to Morningstar's latest estimates, Kali is trading below the three-year historical average, having a potential upside of 100%. For Morningstar, I'm Caitlin. Music